Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me to take a look at the Model 3. Now the other day we were here at AGX with Mr. Alex Joy. How are you doing? I'm good, how about you? Nice to see you guys again. Likewise, and we were taking a look at this car and he showed me quite how many tricks it's got up its sleeve, which today we're going to run through, take it out as well and learn a little bit about the Tesla Model 3. This car is basically an absolutely loaded top of the line Model 3 performance and I've not really spent any time at all with the Model 3. I've previously driven the Model S, also the Model X, the SUV, but the Model 3, new introduction. This car though, Alex showed me the other day, is absolutely loaded with gadgets, tech, and basically, well, for a daily driver, it's pretty much the perfect fun car. It's the best daily driver you can buy. It's better than the S, better than the X. It's the best car, I think, out there on the road and I like it better as far as driving wise, better than the McLaren or M2. Yeah. It's like the best car out there. Handles and fast, beats any car off a dig. Uh, and like a tech geek's like heaven. Yes, this is this is what I absolutely loved about it, is all of the different tech. Now, I will just point everybody out that Alex, well, we've shot videos with your McLaren 720S, we shot videos with your Hurricane, with your M2. You like some pretty crazy stuff. And this, relatively speaking, isn't actually all that crazy. No, I wanted one car where, uh, you know, I wouldn't get harassed by the cops usually. <laughs> and, uh, this one, one is not going to land you being pulled over. Fly under the radar with. Yeah. Um, it's once it's once in a while nice to drive a car that you know you don't get nine million eyes pointing at you. But even this, it's not quite so simple. So just quickly, talk me a little bit through the spec. Model three. Uh, it's a model three performance, so uh, the fastest and the longest range one out there. There's only three. Um, it's. When you order a Model 3, you only get like four different options. It's either you, you get to choose a color, there's four different, five different colors. Uh, you get to choose either a black or a white interior, and you get to choose whether or not you get autopilot or not, mm -hmm. and you get to choose either the slowest one, or the long range one, but still slow, or the long range and fast one. So that you literally okay. have five options. That's it, right. that's it. You can't, you can't change anything else. Um, so this is the fast and long range so one in gray, the, with a white interior, right. with autopilot. It's actually, this is a wrap. So this is ah, okay. a chalk gray, exactly like. Okay. Um, Looks good. Exactly like, you know. You've changed the wheels as well. I've changed the wheels. Um, what are these? Those are Symbolo X wheels to one of my sponsors. Okay. They uh, tossed that wheel in for me. And, and, and it, it illuminated because it detected you getting close. Sentry mode, yes. Yeah. So yes. If, if anybody, it has like 20 different cameras around here. So if, mm -hmm. if you get nearby, it'll actually like flash and. Okay, kind of like so if I walked up to it, it would think I was an intruder and it would start screaming and yelping at it will me. Well, actually, and then it will display a little, it actually says it right now, you just can't see through these Yeah, tents. sentry activated. It's a sentry activated recording. Oh, so the cameras start recording? Yeah. And it's like, what are you guys doing? Email it to you. Oh, really? Yeah, so if anyone stands near the car, um, they'll, yeah, so it doesn't email the... So, I mean, cameras, we've got cameras here, we've got a camera there, there. Uh, uh, up at the front. Uh, cameras up there. Yeah. There's two radars in here. Okay, you behind the bumper. See. You got camera in the back and then likewise on the other side. So basically the car is a kind of almost a living breathing thing. Yeah. It knows what's happening. Um, it's so it's black underneath. It's the black paint. This is a wrap. That'd be perfect. <laughs> That's quite a fun door sill. Um, so it all, wouldn't it unlocks, I mean remote. Do you have the key on you? I mean, uh, you there is no key. This is my ah, key. It's all through your phone. They do not give you a key. Actually they give you a credit card. Yeah. That you literally like do that with and like program a hotel it. room. Okay. And that's how you get in the car, but Really? Under, like, you're supposed to give that to the valet or your service technicians, but okay. under normal operation, you're just supposed to have your key in the your pocket. Your phone is your key. And then they're like reverse suicide door handles. Yeah. Click it open and it'll just unlock. And then there's no start button. You just get in the car and put it in gear. And that's basically it from the outside. That's really quite clever. Yeah. Uh, performance one comes with the red brake calipers, and that's mm -hmm. like the number one distinction of how you can tell if the okay. car is a performance one or not. So. I mean, I'm already quite impressed. Spoiler? This comes from Tesla like this. Really? Yeah. Uh, literally everyone was like, oh, where'd you get this from? I'm like, that's, Tesla that's, literally includes this. That's on the performance. It's like falling off already, which is amazing. Eek, not the best, not the best. Do you know any of the performance numbers or anything like that? Yes, 0 to 16, 3.1 seconds, top speed, 156 miles an hour. Power? 450 horsepower, and I forgot the torque. Okay, but yeah. dual motors? Uh, two motors, yeah. One in the front axle, one in the rear motor, a rear axle, excuse me. Okay. Um, 310 miles of range. 310 miles of range. 310 miles of range. We are next to an airport. What in the world is that? Been? That's quite brave. Yeah, helicopter. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Back to the Tesla. Okay, let's have a quick look at the inside then. Let's jump in, because this is where all of the gadgets really start, isn't it? I'm gonna start from the back seat. Okay. Excuse my stuff. Gadgets. Oh, it actually looks quite nice. The light actually is really easy to maintain. Anything that yeah. gets on there just comes off with like a dry towel. How many miles have you done with it? I've done almost 6,000. Okay, in, okay, uh, not bad. Three months. Not bad two at months, all. Sorry, two months, sorry. June 1st is when I got this car. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> Um, the only thing that I don't like is that because the battery's on the bottom, if you sit inside of it, your legs will kind of be pushed up and mm -hmm. you'll be sitting there uh, in like okay. a squatting position. Yeah, yeah. Just um, in the back? Just in the back. Okay. Uh, the front, you know, you have all the leg space so you can stretch your legs out front. But yeah. It, the chair is like really low and there's not much, not much space. So that's like the only thing. Nice pillarless windows. And the window doesn't roll all the way down, which is quite annoying. That's as far down as it goes? Yep. So okay. Go down further. Strange. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Also, if you're in the back seat, um, you don't get a manual door release, so you only get that electronic button. button. And so, if your battery dies, then you're kind of screwed. One other thing, by the way, uh -huh. even though you haven't technically turned on the ignition or anything, the window switches actually work. Yeah. So the ignition on this car is always on. Yeah. It's always on. It's always connected to your phone. Like okay. You can you can be sitting here and be sitting in Tokyo somewhere and check on the battery status or unlock the door. That's kind of cool. Car. So it, it it never really turns off. Yeah. Um, and it uses like a percent every two days to like keep it on running. Okay, okay. So you would need to keep it plugged in. But inside is where all of the main tech and magic happens. Oh wait, so well, expanding on that, if it drops below 20%, then that's when it disconnects and shuts down. Okay. So the battery doesn't, you know. Okay, itself. so it saves itself. Yeah. Um, can we, can you swing around and take us through some of the sure. systems in here? Because, well, this is where really the other day when Alex was pressing buttons, I was looking at it all like, what? Is this sentry mode event report? Two events occurred. Yeah, so that means two people, you and I. Have so it recognizes up. Alex has gone in the car. Um, yeah, it, so it knows that my phone, your door's still open. Oh. It knows that um, my phone was the one that unlocked the car, so mm -hmm. it will say my name. These are all yeah. my friends. All my friends have access to this car with their okay. phone. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the. Interior is like, this, this is how a self-driving car should look like. There's literally no buttons other than what's legally required, which is your gear shifter, your wiper stuff, your turn signal, and your hazards. Yeah. There's not even a button for a glove box. This is how you open your glove box. Wow. Okay. All button activated. <laughs> um, how big is the screen? I don't know. Great question. 15 inches or oh, so? Oh, size of a big MacBook, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, like a 15 inch, I'd but say. But very responsive and quick. So, car it stuff. It freezes all the time, that's a really annoying part. And okay. This thing will freeze and it will go into like a shutdown mode for like 30 seconds. When you're and driving? And you don't get to see if your turn signals are on, you don't get to see your speed, you don't hear anything, and that's happened to me probably about like 30 times. Oh, It's very that's not sketchy. Um, and it happens a lot, supposedly. In here though, this is where you move the steering wheel around. Oh, now you can use- Literally, like, like I said, there's no buttons. Everything's done through here. That's quite funny. Um, to watch. Unless what's like legally required. Um, other thing I kind of don't like is that these things require just the right amount of pressure to close them. So if you do it too hard, it doesn't work. They'll come back up. You have to gently put it down. Okay. That's the one you. annoying part. And then also these cup holders don't have the things that adjust to the size of your cup. So yeah. if you have like a Red Bull can in there, it will go flying. Okay, I'm with you. Um, other than that, there's a lot of space in here, like a ton. Big storage bucket, which you space. have full of cameras and all sorts of stuff. A ton, of, a ton of space, and then more space back here. Yeah. So like, space is not a problem. No. Nope. Um, and then let's go through the screen. So everything's done through here. Um, I think autopilot's illegal in UK now. We don't really have it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's here, not been approved. the US, uh, you get autopilot. Let me just turn that off real quick. Um, these are all your autopilot settings. Now it's okay. it's been really it's gone really advanced. So on ramp to off ramp uh, autopilot, which is uh, you just all you have to do is click in your destination, yeah. and it'll analyze the route, and then it'll show this option called navigate on autopilot. So what that does is you get on the on ramp, and as you're on the on ramp, you it says autopilot available. Yeah. You click it into autopilot, and it will. You can literally, like technically, go to sleep, and it will take you to the right off ramp and let you take over. It'll t take the right lanes, take the right exits, take the right interchanges. And Does then it kind of ping at you to make sure that you take over? So every like minute or so, it'll make sure that your hands are on the wheel. So mm -hmm. it says apply 
slight pressure to the steering wheel. Yeah. So you kind of have to like nag. That's what that's what they call it, nag. So you kind of have to nag it a little bit. Yeah. But I found a hack, which is you put your phone right here, and it'll stop asking you. <laughs> Trust so, you to find out how to do that. I, yeah. So it just feels I'll, a bit of weight on it. Literally, just that, that, and then you're in a fully self-driving car. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're supposed to keep your hands on the wheel, but I, I do not condone doing that. I, that is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I actually didn't trust the car in the first place, but like I, I've seen how it does, and like mm -hmm. I know, like it, on a proper freeway where all the lane markings are clear and on a good yeah. sunny day, this thing's actually like really reliable. Yeah. Um. So I'll get rid of that. Um. Can we show? I can, can also. We... I, we, I can demonstrate that on the street later on autopilot. Definitely. Can we can we show the uh, entertainment element? Oh yeah, well, this is what really I never knew about. So, five thousand nine hundred and seventy-four miles. These are called. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, what there's a name for them? Crap, I forgot. Well, anyways, there's a name for these things. Um, and you get literally everything. Like you get a drawing book in case you're bored, and you can do this whilst you're driving, which yeah. is pretty unsafe. Um, you also actually can actually quickly access 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 it from here arcade arcade and you get all your games 2048 you can play yeah <laughs> you get the gist um, yeah. the games are although locked once when, when you're driving so if okay you put it into drive the it'll lock you out you're the, the reason why they did this is so that when you're sitting on a supercharger waiting for you're your car to charge for half an hour they keep you entertained um, this game is really cool and I kid you not it's better than autopilot I mean, it's better than like Mario Kart. It's it's such a it, like I'm just looking at this game right now. I'm sitting here wondering how much money they had to spend just to develop the game, yeah. just to keep their customers happy whilst they're sitting at a supercharger. Wait a minute, shut up. Beach buggy, buggy racing two. two. Beach buggy racing two. Check this out. It's just a simple racing game, but you actually control the game with your steering wheel and gas pedal. Yeah. So you kind of drive in the game. Like you've got a full simulator set up. Audio turned off because it's connected to my phone. But literally, like, look at my wheel. I'm controlling my own little mini me. And your foot is flat on the. My throttle. foot is flat on the throttle right now. <laughs> I could also slam on the brake and it'll, you know. Yeah, that's brake. hilarious. But yeah, you literally, like, you go to supercharger stations and you see like the they, don't, just... they don't disconnect the wheel. So like, I'm like going down a supercharger station and when this first. When this game first came out, I saw like 20 cars and like three of them were like all bouncing they up and down because that. all those <laughs> all the dudes in there were like playing the video game. So it was you get a fun. bit of dry steering going on though. Yeah, which uh, is ideal. Bald spot. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah who cares? Um, that wasn't everything in the. Uh, oh yeah, is it called I the toy box? Is so that this is yeah. Oh. Sorry, called the toy box. That was me That's dropping my car key. Flying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what else is in the toy box? You got romance mode. Oh wow. It puts on the fire. heater. It puts displays fire. Puts on the heater. There's no way to turn the heater off, so you don't really want to do this. Oh, so play some romantic music. Yeah, by the way. yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? You got Santa mode. This is really annoying. I'll do it for the sake of vlogging, but <laughs> you cannot turn this off. So it's like more of a prank for the passengers to do on the driver. Okay. So the second I click Coho, -ho, it'll play a Christmas song for a minute. And there's no way you can turn it off for a minute. Okay, maybe don't do that. That's just annoying. And then, <laughs> and then it'll turn the whole thing into like a rainbow water. It's like really annoying, but like okay. it's, it's funny in the first place. Um, you got a Mars button, which makes your whole you know map turn to the yeah. We're surface, no longer surface driving. of Mars, which is kind of pointless and turns your car into a little Mars rover. No longer in Los Angeles. It's just these stupid things that oh, it turns your car also into um into a shuffle. A, the Starship, the SpaceX yeah. Starship, and you can name your car. I named my car Elon. <laughs> For, you know, you know why. Okay. This is my favorite feature of this car. I saved it for the last. Whoopee cushion mode. Uh, Alex. Uh, that wasn't me. Tim. <laughs> I imagine you passenger in the I back. I don't know if you guys can like listen to this through your you know laptop screens, but like it, it wouldn't it, give the sense of direction. Direction. But it literally, it literally sounds. sounds like you can position the sound from wherever you want, and it literally sounds like. The driver's side rear passengers yeah. had too much Chipotle. You got all these different you can farts. Choose, you can choose Not the a type. fart, short shorts, ripper, falcon heavy, ludicrous fart. <laughs> um, and you can set it to fart on turn signal. So like, let's say, I'll set it right there. Yeah, so from now on, every time. 
And now every time I lend my car to someone, they'll get in the car, they'll Stop mistakenly driving. see that they're on the surface of Mars, which is gonna trip them out a little bit, and then they'll start driving. And I click on the turn signal. Oh, I need to be in drive. <laughs> Every Childish time the turn signal comes on, or I can actually set it to for on demand. Uh, so you can set that up to I your passenger. This button, yeah, I set it up to my passenger and just drive and inconspicuously go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn all these off. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we don't need Mars mode. We don't we need, need uh, whoopee cushion mode. But that is pretty cool. Cushion mode. Um, it's we got just cowbell mode, which is also no, re another really annoying thing that doesn't turn off. I'm it's sure. just it's like, funny. It's only like 20 seconds off. It's funny that they thought about all of this. So push the drive stock down four times quickly when auto steer is engaged. The road turns into a giant rainbow road accompanied by a cowbell. Right. It's just really dumb things that you would yeah, never yeah, think yeah. you ever needed. Um, so how do you do simple things? How do you control the music? Where's that? Right here. Ah, uh, okay. And then back down, turn that off. Yeah. Um, also, or you can control it through here. Yeah. Um, you can also program these to do whatever you want. So you can okay. program these to like raise the speed while steer on autopilot, or be this to be the volume controller, or yeah. this be the dead stick. Um, and all your like normal traditional dashboard is that side. Yes, That's everything, all the information. everything is here. So it's like a, almost like you're driving a BMW C8. Everything is, or a Mini Cooper. Everything's in the middle. Everything's in the middle. And There's you've nothing, got some hotkeys to open the trunk. Nothing. Or the, the frunk, the trunk, and the charging port. Charging port, yes. Um, the, also, another really cool thing is you can surf on the web. You go yeah. to Google, or you can look up... Uh, you could literally... Shmi 150. How cheesy. Can we load our video? Does that work? You can't play videos. That's, uh, a, that's the suckish part. Okay, but you can go to like... You, you can surf the web though. We can we could shop. We could go to the Shmi 50 shop. <laughs> and buy my new Shmi 50 shirts. I'm wearing one right now as it happens. And the, uh, the center spec socks. Yeah, just accept that. All right, well... There we go. That so works. That. That's kind of cool. Um, cool thing. This car comes standard. You can buy a $30,000 Model 3 and it will come with four seat heated seats. Five yeah, seat heated seats. So all five seats. No, we don't need that. It's way too. Yeah. Um, and AC is controlled by. I just turned into night mode. Yeah, it thinks it's getting dark. I mean, yeah. it is getting a little. AC bit dark. is controlled. Like yeah, that's kind of funky because there's no visible there's no, vents. You don't, you it's don't all integrated into the, the dashboard. Thing. So you can you adjust the direction like this, or yeah. you can split it up into two pieces. Ooh. And control it. Yeah, like, I can feel that. Like that. That's kind of funky. That's how you turn the rear seat on and off. There's no buttons whatsoever in the rear seat. So yeah. let's say my rear seat passenger wants their AC on, I need to do it. Yeah, if you. the rear seat passenger wants their heat seater on, I need to do it. Okay. Yeah. Dog mode is cool. Um, so I don't know if it's legal here, but you can yeah. set the temperature and yeah. Tim will pretend you're a dog for a second. You're gonna leave me in the car. Leave you in the car and I'll go. <laughs> My owner will be back soon. So if the car is locked and all the windows, so that works if the, all the windows are closed. Oh uh, no, the windows can be rolled down. But I mean, the the thing about it is, let's say you're parked outside. Let's say you're parked outside on a really hot day. Yeah, the AC's on, and you don't want your window to get smashed by some somebody coming somebody to save coming a dog. In, yeah, it says on the screen, which you can read from outside. Um, but it's still illegal to do it in some states. So I don't think it's just to do here. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? It's just an endless. And literally, literally endless. Oh, the backup camera works at 70 miles an hour, which is really, <laughs> really? Cool. and it's really big too. So, it's uh, it's nice to kind of see. And also, like if if you drive this car, um, which you can if you want to, you can't. It's really hard to see out the back. So yeah. sometimes I just kind of leave this up. Yeah. The, the the window is so tiny and so high yeah. up that you really can't see. All you're seeing out the back is pretty much just the sky. And, and also the really a... annoying part is if you crack one of these things, it's a five thousand dollar glass. Yeah, I was gonna say it's mm -hmm. like I mean that pit panel is huge all the way from the back to this beam across the top, and yeah. even this panel is pretty large. Everything's glass, so uh, you better. It gives help. a nice feeling when you're inside the car. Yeah. Oh, uh, sometimes when the sun's really, you know, shining bright, sometimes you feel the heat too but, much. But uh, it's really tinted, so it's pretty yeah. nice. Um, so the call button on this thing, for some reason, uh, I noticed this a while ago. If you hold it down for five seconds. It turns into a hoy hoy. Is that like some British thing or some maybe American maybe thing? not? I don't know. That's so random. It's there are Easter eggs all over the place with the this. The randomest thing, the hoy hoy. 
and you um, get energy charts. You get your energy chart, so shows uh, you how efficiently or inefficiently you've been driving. Depends how. Uh, yeah, it's literally you because because I've been driving very inefficiently. I only have fifty nine miles of range so far. Because do you think we should go and drive inefficiently now? We can and see what this connect is is like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take it for a short little whiz around the block and see a uh, little whiz. Is that a very English phrase? <laughs> the first person to say that. Definitely English phrase then, British phrase. Okay, so you get a little bit. Oh, and it picks up other things that are around. Yeah, I think so, of course. Two bikes. It's not really accurate, but. No, but it's still cool that it does it's it. It's still cool. It tries. And I made you park in a very narrow and small little spot here at AGX. Mm -hmm. Lots of cars around. Came out in the GT, of course. This is the strange thing. You're used to it, 6,000 miles of an electric car, but just driving yeah. in an electric car. Is it makes people nauseated sometimes. It sometimes does. people are like, you know, I get nauseous in the backseat because yeah. you don't feel that vibration. Oh, one really cool thing, by the way, is my home garage door clicker. Yeah. It automatically clicks. So when I'm approaching my garage door, it will it sense my that. location and it'll say, garage door opening in 50 feet, 40 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, opening now. That's really So you don't sweet. have to actually click it. You can turn it off, obviously, but that's something that's really convenient. So you don't have to like, you know, sit there and go all day. Yeah, and then it probably doesn't work anyway. So this is where, So oh gosh. Okay, this is the whole uh, hold on thing. Three, two, head back. One. <laughs> oh my 10, gosh. 20, 30, 40, 50, my goodness. 60. <laughs> it's very, very quick. It's the Model 3. Model 3, yeah. It's very quick Model and the three. torque feeling is mad. Even it just, at like, you know, we're going 30 right now. Instant! Oh my. The 60. <laughs> the best it's part, insane. The best part about this versus the Model S or X is that it actually handles really well. Yeah. And it comes from the factory with uh, Michelin Forest tires, which are really, really? stupid tires. Which is actually the same it's tires. Not I run on my McLaren or Lambo. It's not just on the performance. performance. And it comes, the car comes lowered for uh, lower center of gravity. But the, since there's no engine, there's nothing. You just have this battery pack, which is the most of the car's weight that's all the way on the bottom. You actually don't really have a that much body roll. So it doesn't yeah. really sway that much. And no, it's, it's quite flat. The center of gravity is so low. And I also love how as we go past cars on the side, it, it actually shows that. All the cars. It shows you where they are. So we've got a line of cars just here. Oh, move to the left lane, but it kind of picks them up and shows you where they are and shows us where we are compared to the two lanes. You want to do a free run? So we see autopilot? Yeah, let's, let's I'd be very interested to see that quickly. All right. We'll get a quick, quick glimpse of what that's like. Now we've got the lanes empty. Okay, that was just a demonstration of torque. <laughs> right, so now you're going. So now I'm going, I'm driving right now, but I'm going to click it into autopilot. Yeah. Upcoming lane change, so you can tell it you don't want to do it. Hands off the wheel. I'm just going to give it some pressure. I'm not really yeah. doing anything. And it's literally... It will move us over. Moving over. But it chose to move over. You didn't like, even tell no, it to. It's, it's, I can actually cancel it right now. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so then it's suggesting again. It's, it's, before every lane change, it actually makes sure that you're paying attention. So mm -hmm. that you're actually like... Um, you, you see if the car like screws up or not. Yeah. So it'll actually ask for a nag. Before and to control the speed, to slow down the speed, you use do that, that, and then that wheel, and that will control. It. Or I can just click on the speed here. Yeah. So I have it set to every time I click it into autopilot, I have it set to uh, 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, which yeah. is kind of what everybody does here. Oh, um, so it'll just uh, it'll automatically set it to like the speed limit 65. It'll automatically set it to uh, 75. Okay. And cruise at the speed, and it knows that. There's a double yellow here, so it'll wait until until now it's asking yeah. for. Actually, it's good to show you. Let it get angry at you. So I'm, I'm actually gonna let it get angry at you, just so like you guys can see. It flashes so away. Flash. Blinks, blink. It blinks faster, and then does it start breaking us it'll, eventually? It'll start making that noise. Yeah. Okay. And so then you have to take over. over. Um, if you don't take over, what it will do is flat, click on the hazards slow down and it'll actually kind of dangerous and kind of pointless it will oh no it wants to go right because we have to take another freeway and, and then what it will do is literally stop the car in the middle of the freeway with the hazards on really yeah and it won't let you use autopilot again for like the rest of your trip okay so that's like a punishment uh -oh. yeah punishment for not doing it yeah 
Okay, it's funny that it's telling us it wants to change lane, but it took well, a while it, to do it. it. Because it, it was waiting for my, like, pitch. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. Every, before it, before, it, the, it's, the annoying thing is, it's, the technology's there. So what, what happens if now, if we reset the nav to take us back to AGX? Oh, so. Can it work out how to turn us around? Yes, it will actually turn us around. So, so you need navigation. I turn off. Yeah, we won't look at your address list. Yep. <laughs> Find AGX. So, AGX is over there. So, so it's gonna. I'll click on navigate on autopilot. So it will ask for a little nag. So I give it a little nag. Yeah, now it wants us to take the exit, the off ramp. So it does the indicators, it does everything. We'll move over one lane. So is it now gonna get us into the right lane? It should. Actually, it wouldn't. So I'm gonna do it for it's, it, yeah. it. It takes a long time for it to like actually make sure that there's nobody in there. Yeah, we were a bit unfair there. So I'm actually letting go right now. It's taking the exit for me. Yeah. And like I said, it, it says navigation autopilot ending. So it, it actually wants you to take, it tells you to take over once you get back onto um, city street because yeah. uh, it doesn't have that yet. So I'm going to actually let it do whatever. It chose the right lane, it slows down, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. It slows down to 25. And then I'm going to manually press on the brake right here because it yeah. will not stop at a red light. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't recognize red lights uh -huh. yet. That's not all coming. Yet. It's all coming. All the hardware is there. All the software, they have it all figured out. The annoying part is that it's just all the laws here yeah. that they have to clear. Um, if you go to like Tesla and like, they have videos of their prototype cars literally just driving around with yeah. no hands on the wheel. For, they like, can hours. do everything. Yeah, it can do everything. The, the technology's there, but it's just all the... Tunnel models. run. <laughs> I nearly dropped the camera. Oh. <laughs> that sunset is epic. No, no, no. Point proven. It's the talk and no noise. That's what the electric it car does. Headache. It literally it like, does. I can literally like give someone a headache by just. Oh, oh, yeah, no, 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 that please. That wasn't funny. That wasn't very nice. Just that. I, I, your your body needs the sounds to know what it means to yeah. know what's happening. So I'm like, going to put it back onto autopilot now that we're on the on ramp. It yeah. will speed up to freeway speed. It has its left blinker on. Yeah, so now it moves Plus it to lane. Okay. Give it a little nag. Lane merges. So this lane is ending here, so it's going to slow down for this car. Well, it should. Yeah, and then merge over. In. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh oh. Oh. So it does still need some thinking. Yeah, that didn't work. It, it took us off the side there. Oops. Yeah. So it's not there yet, but um, you feel like it could get there, but you really do need to be aware of what it's doing. Yeah, you need to be watching, you just, concentrating. You really, you can't just you know go in the backseat or like snooze off. But you need to pay attention. But like it's, it all depends on the road conditions. So like these paint, the paint back there was you know, or this guy can just cut us off. Yeah. So what it does when somebody cuts you off is it goes onto the well actually it went onto the regen braking and just backed off the yeah. throttle. You've got this little chart here that shows you when it's on the throttle and when it's regening, uh, charging up the batteries. Yeah, so that's regening right now. And the really cool part about this is that people don't change. I'm just gonna move over and land over. People don't um, change their brake pads for like 150,000 miles yeah, because all the braking is done through the motor which is which becomes a generator yeah so literally there's like nothing to service on this car unless you like except for tires obviously yeah tires of course um, oh one cool thing is the performance mode performance version yeah. comes with track mode yeah which, uh, you can't do it in any other model 3 except the performance package and it's right here and you cannot engage it unless you are um at a racetrack? No, uh, you're parts. Okay. And what it does is it turns off pretty much. It's my radar detector. It turns off um, traction control and stability control. Okay. So you can do dance with this car, and which I have tried. I can imagine. Yeah, it looks it, cool. It's it's all wheel, it, it's still all wheel drive and spin like a top, and you need so much space to do it. Yeah, yeah. But it will drift. It will do donuts. It will do everything. And instant torque makes it very yeah. easy to brake traction. Very, 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 very easy. Your lights. Um, these are the different keys that I have. All the display stuff. Um, you can either have it show percentage or the range you have left. But I like to see percentage, um, kilometers, you know, all that stuff. You got your driving stuff. You got chill, 
a yeah. sport. Instead of chill. comfort or... Comfort, race, it's you've got chill and chill sport. Chill sport. Um, <laughs> steering, you got comfort, standard sport, regenerative braking, um, it's either off or on. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is... Oh, and you, wait, well, were, just also down at the bottom, you also have creep. creep. You can choose whether it moves forward when you come to a standstill. So yeah, I, t I left it off, so it's... It, it kind of simulates a gas-powered car. Yeah. So electric cars, you know, there's no engine. It, that's continue, running. It, it's simulating the traditional automatic where if you like release your brake, foot off the brake, we'll the car at like five miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you got that. You got slip start, which is you know when you're stuck, you can turn your traction control off. So yeah. that's just traction control versus traction and stability off on track mode. Um, autopilot. You got the the settings for you know mm -hmm. navigating on autopilot. You got this uh, disabled mild average Mad Max for automatic speed changes. Yeah, okay. Um, and if you put it into Mad Max, I kid you not, this car will slam on the brakes. Yeah? It literally like throws you and then goes <laughs> and gets into the next lane. Okay, unpleasant. <laughs> but <laughs> Average is pretty cool. Um, you got Summon, which is, um, like I kid you not, if you have this car in a parking lot, it will come to you without anybody. Can we car. show that when we get back? We have to go to like a Macy's parking lot or like or, a West Hills parking lot, like, like a big parking but lot. But you can just, oh, okay, I didn't mean like that, but you can just control it in a small way, right? I can't control it. You can just you can just enter summon and you, when you click summon, the car will leave the parking lot painfully slowly. Yeah. Go through the parking lot painfully slowly, like a grandma's driving it and then come in front of you. Um, it's not, you know, it's like whatever, but I found it, wow, the sunset looks, sunset looks really yeah, cool. Yeah, this is really um, cool. I found it really useful when it's you know when you're done eating your food and it's like a rainy day and the rain's pouring yes. down you don't have to walk to your car you can and even it's even if it's painfully slow it'll get there and you don't you won't get uh rained on okay so that's really nice um so this is where you can set how fast it automatically yeah sets your autopilot speed at so mm -hmm. i have it up to 10 miles an hour over the speed limit um for collision warning, yeah. most cars have that nowadays. Safety systems. Uh, lane departure and the like. over, over uh, a lot of safety systems. You, like you really have to try to crash this car to crash this car. So just a quick one. What do we have? How do you turn on the lights? Are these lights? Do you press it? Yes. Interior lights. There you go. That that one actually works yeah. normally. Yeah. <laughs> those those are some buttons inside this car. Uh, got... Navigation settings. This is how you control the sentry mode. Which is yeah. right there. Which is, you know. Basically, if you like changing settings, this is a dream. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You have every every setting possible. Um, service mode, whatever. You got yeah. your owner's manual. It doesn't even come with an owner's manual. You have it's electronic all in the software. Manual. Um, software is you have you can literally it's like a phone. This car yeah. is not a car. It's an iPhone. Yeah. And you can so update your software on your car like it's an iPhone. And whilst your uh, software is updating, you can't drive your car. Okay. Sometimes a car alarm well, goes basically, off. Basically, you buy your iPad, and it yeah. just happens to come with a car attached. Pretty much. That's how it's I like, see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it works, does the job, and you know there we can see the car in the right lane. That's that guy. This is a stunning view right now. Yeah. Through the palm trees this towards is like that sunset. This is California where... California on a flyer. Well, this is where, yeah, yeah, and then you turn on romance mode in here, and you're set. You can't, actually. You this, can't while you're driving. It uh, disables it, see? You ah, sad times. Because they want you to see your speed, even though sometimes this thing will freeze and not show you anything. That's such a amazing, amazing sunset. Um, quick little tip for everyone. Um, so I debadged this car, so there's no badges, but mm. I, there's three Model 3s, like I said. There's the standard, yeah. which is rear-wheel drive, one motor, and 260, 240 miles of range. Then you got the long range motor, long range version, which is dual motor and 310 miles. And you got the performance, which is dual motor, long range, and speed. Mm -hmm. How you tell the difference is on a standard one, there won't be any badge. So it'll just say model three and no badging. Yep. On the second one, it'll just say dual motor without the red stripe on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And on the performance version, it'll have dual motor and a red stripe on the bottom. Okay. That's how you can kind of tell on the, yeah, on the back badge. That's details. Yeah. Tunnel run again. Is it really ready? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling though, honestly, I felt it there big time. You get hurtled back and you're just kind of like, ah, oh, what's happening to me? And I just pulled the most weird of faces, but that's <laughs> kind of how that car makes you feel. That's really, um, it's quite it's quite an intense thing when it um, does that to you. That's the sunset I would like to take a photo of. So last but not least, you got track mode, yeah. which is the performance version, which is exclusive to the performance version. So you click yeah. track mode, you got all the disclaimers. 
and then you got your stability control off, track mode enabled. It yeah. turns off all the safety features. Lights are automatic and everything, aren't they? Uh huh. Uh, it, so it turns off all the safety features. It turns off autopilot and it turns off uh, traction control. Yeah. It turns on the battery cooling fans, and you can hear those. The max that cranks up, and then uh, you can theoretically drift this car. <laughs> cool. Oh boy, even in just a non-existent amount of space, you can still put your foot down like that. And there's one yellow number plate. <laughs> Good old UK. So the thing that I really thought was cool as well was how from your phone you managed to make the car move. Oh yeah, so... You've definitely got to do that. So what happens, you just kind of park somewhere. Like you've just parked in a parking lot. This way, you know, you park up, get out of the car. Do you have to enable it or does this just kind of work? Hit the electronic release on the door. You got like an emergency safety here, but every time yeah. you actually use it, it says manual door release used may cause damage to window trim. Oh, if it doesn't drop the window or something. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, protection to ensure the car stays safe. So when you walk away from the car, it automatically locks, I think. So you're. It takes like 10 seconds. Okay, so oh. it detects that you've kind of finished oh. your journey. And then you've got your app. Uh-oh. It's There soft. we go. I'm trying to software update right now. Okay, cool. So this is pretty much your key. You don't really get a, a key like... Yeah. So you walk there. up to your car with your phone. It could be off and in your pocket. I'm not holding anything. And the second you open the door, it'll just... Unlock. And it works all Bluetooth, so if your phone... Okay. If your Bluetooth is off, oh, then you uh, got a problem. It, it won't, you know, we're on. And the really annoying part is, I, I'm really bad with charging my phone. Oh, so if your phone's dead, you're screwed. Yeah, you can't get in yeah, your car. Pretty much. So what was what you could do then? Like, so you got all these. You can pretty much control every setting yeah. of the car through your phone. Um, even your climate control, which is super nice. Yeah. When uh, it's a hot day and you just want to leave, have the car pre cooled mm -hmm. before you step in the car. Um, and then you got your both, oh, oops, normal control things like honk, <laughs> can make it flash, um, or I can actually, even if I'm sitting halfway across the world, I can start it. So put my face ID in, and it'll yeah. give someone two minutes to enter the car and start it without a key. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so you could leave it somewhere and your friend could go pick it up. Very convenient for me to. Wow. This feature is like the most convenient. And then one. they can get in the car. Can you lock them in it? No, <laughs> I wish, uh, but yeah, I could literally be sitting in my home and this car would be here and I would, if Mitch would have to move the car, I could just click okay. the block and yeah. he'd be able to move the car. Um, valet mode, which is, turns off all the audio and yeah, starts recording and all that. Um, it's really, if you want to like buy this car for your kids, you can actually put a speed limit. Yeah. Put some, oh. I'm just going to do one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. I can actually activate speed limit mode. Actually, I guess, I guess I have to enter my oh. normal pin. So now it's the speed limit is set to 80 miles an hour and whoever yeah. drives that car yeah. can't drive past 80 miles an hour unless you enter that pin. So it's like super good for like parents with kids, you know? Yeah. Um, finally, the coolest thing, summon. This is how you access the summon feature. Yeah. We're not in a parking lot that yeah. Tesla has like saved. Okay, so, yeah. Like only like big, you know, Shopping Marked centers, bays malls, and shopping centers, yeah. Um, they'll have it safe, but you can right now just summon it, so I'll reverse it. You can do the basic stuff, like which is reverse. It unfolds the mirrors, goes into reverse, turns on. Nobody's in the car right now, by the way. No, uh, yeah. And if I stand in front of it. Yeah, it, it stops. So it doesn't hit anybody. Um, I'm gonna forward it back again. Um, when, when you're home, uh, this car will you'll be able to park it outside your garage. It will open the garage door, move inside the garage door, close the garage door, and turn it off. And in the morning, you can actually program it where it will open the garage door, come out, close the garage door, and turn your climate control on at 7.30 in the morning. And be ready for you to go to yeah. work. Um, so, but catch about that is, someone needs to go in there still and plug it in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and these start at $30,000. 35,000. Anyway, and what do you get up to if you go full spec? So, full spec like this is $63,000. That's a lot of car for the money. Oh, yeah. That's I'd insane. I'd take this over an M3 any day. Any day. Yeah. yeah. I'm just kind of putting that into perspective. That's, that's... I, I, if you like tech and gadgets, 
they've absolutely nailed it with this. Yeah, and it's it's very it's very like like I'll be super transparent about this. It's it's a lease. It was three thousand five hundred bucks down, and then like eight hundred fifty bucks a month. That's nothing. But you make the eight hundred fifty bucks back because you're not spending any money on gas. Yeah. And the cool part is that every time they have this thing called a referral program, and every time someone buys someone in the entire world buys a Tesla with their referral code, they give you a thousand miles of free charging, free supercharging. Yeah. So I just, all I had to do was post on my Instagram and people started buying. Alex's link down below. <laughs> people started <laughs> buying uh, Teslas with my referral code. Yeah. And I have like 16,000 miles of uh, free supercharging racked up. And they also, if you want to buy a Tesla with my referral code, you also get a thousand miles. Tell you what, charging. you make me want to buy it. That's a Model 3 right now, but I don't yeah, even live here. <laughs> I would do for sure. So that has been absolutely fascinating. Thank you very much for showing absolutely. me through it. It's been great catching up as always. Appreciate it an awful lot. And I hope you guys have enjoyed as much as I have learning I about- what's faster, this or your 4 GT in a drag race? Well, off the line, this. Is that the next video? Maybe. Tesla Model 3 Let's performance versus Ford GT. <laughs> Um, if we were going at uh, 200 miles an hour, I know who would pull away more. This can't even go 200 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then if we were going on a road trip, I know who'd have to spend longer charging up. This thing actually used to do 3.2 seconds from 0 to 60 yeah. and 154 miles an hour. And one day out of the blue, I got a software update and the car just popped up and said, congratulations, now your car accelerates faster and your top speed is 156 miles an hour. So they wow. increase their performance through just software. Through software. Yeah. That's really cool. And we're literally in the center, by the way, of like airports and multiple flight paths. That's why there's so much going on. All right then. You want to see this, the trunk space? The what? The trunk space? Oh, we could quickly see the trunk space. Always one or two more things to show. Or we're doing a complete tour of the Model 3. Yeah, it's your trunk. You could fit a small soft bag or two you in there. Like, you know, your bag hooks here, which is yeah. super cool. If you get the standard one, I believe you get a bigger trunk space because uh, the motors, the motors back here. are yeah, yeah. taking up the space. This is kind of funky. Actually, this is there to for impact protection. So hexagonal uh, okay. shapes yeah. absorb honeycomb impacts. structure. Impacts better. Yep. That's why they Makes sense. have it there. Um, so that's cool. You have to put an awful amount of pressure to close that thing, yep. which is kind of funky and annoying. Around the back. More space in the back. You have yep more space in the back. Kind of the dark. seats oh. fold down. Oh yeah, he, that's space. huge. You got a whole deep pocket here, another pocket over you there. You could fit at least two Alexes in there. And then... Sounds like they're having fun inside AGX yeah. right now. <laughs> and then you have all that. And then even more, so you can keep the cables and yeah. stuff. And the so wrenches. You have that. And the seats fold down, so you can literally Yeah, fit you a can lot. fit a lot. I can fit like five tires in here. Only annoying thing, though, is it doesn't have automatic closing trunks. Yeah, you have to put it down. So you really have to yank it down, and it's a lot of pressure. And you have to use and the spoiler, basically. The weird part is, if you leave this open for like, 10 minutes, the shocks like kind of like dry up in that position. So you literally have to like yank the thing. Oh really? Yeah, it's a weird thing. Don't leave the trunk of your Model 3 open then. Well, I think I think we can bring it to a close there. That's been a pretty detailed tour. Alex's links will be down below as well. Raffle links, Instagram link, YouTube link, all of that. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed this. So thank you very much for watching as always guys. Thank you for your support. That's it for this time. We'll see you again very soon. Cheers.